going on? My name is Tori Davenport and you're watching Tor's Tech Talk. In this video, we're talking about the Aruba Certified Switching Associate Exam, which I have taken and passed. So in this exam, we're mostly focused on Aruba specific switching, and that's going to be Aruba CX operating system. So over the last couple of years, Aruba has been working really hard to revamp their switching lineup, CLI, with the CX style CLI. So the exam is gonna focus mostly around Aruba CX switching, VSF, VSX, and non-proprietary protocols, such as OSPF, VGP, Spanning Tree, a lot of layer two, a lot of layer three, but at the associate level. So it's not gonna be anything super crazy. I found it to actually be moderately easy exam. Uh, I did study and prepare using some of the uh, interestingly enough, some of the Aruba professional exam materials. Let me actually show that to you real quick. So I bought the Aruba certified switching professional exam book and it helped me even for the associate level exam. Now, don't waste your time studying this book for the associate level exam. They do have an associate level book that you can get for that exam. I had this one and it helped me understand the core technologies at the professional level, which aided in my passing of the exam. Without going too deep into questions, specifics of the exam which I can't do we can talk a little bit about what was on the exam and in order to do that we're gonna go ahead and jump on the computer and take a look at the exam topics let's go all right here we are on the HPE website taking a look at the exam objectives for the Aruba Certified Switching Associate Exam. And so you can see right here on the screen what they are. So basically without getting too deep into, you know, like I said, what's on the exam or, or breaking any uh, NDA agreements that I agreed to by taking the exam, we can simply just look at the exam topics if you wanna get a good idea of what is expected to pass the exam. And I can vouch for this. This is a spot on exam topic. So if you follow this and learn these things, then you should be able to pass the exam with some time and practice. Now. Keep in mind, I did have about one to two years of experience with Aruba switching products before I ever attempted the exam. That includes writing articles, creating my own labs, building out both in-person and virtualized CX labs, as well as doing project work on the platform. So I didn't go in blind with just the book alone, but I was able to come in and pass this exam, get a really good score based on one to two years of experience and the, uh, the knowledge set that I, I kind of focused in on here. The next step for me, of course, course is to continue on go to the next level and pass the Aruba certified switching professional exam that's what's up next for me we'll create another video here shortly focusing on Aruba home lab and what kind of lab I have set up so I will be showing you because for the professional level I want to dust off the lab a little bit more and will be showing me building and preparing for this exam so if you like these videos please subscribe to the channel like this video and you'll see more Aruba videos populating on the channel as we move forward. Thank you so much and have a great day.